Chinese prisoners are being forced to play WoW in Farm Gold. It is a true story. It's an amazing story. Well, uh, these guys, prisoners in China, well, uh, there's a story out here. A Chinese man was, uh, I guess he was a Chinese man, he was in China, he was put in prison for doing, um, speaking out against corruption in his uh, hometown, was forced for three years to do manual labor, um, but on top of that, he was forced to farm gold for internet games such as World of Warcraft, which is an amazing story. Uh, they were, <laughs> they were made the uh, prison bosses. They made more money doing, uh, making people farm gold for them than they did with manual labor, such as, like, actual mining or, you know, like, doing all these odd jobs around town. I'm not sure what manual labor is, actually, for them. For all I know, it could be one of those crazy things that, uh, happened in Japan, like, the hen no, no, I'm not gonna go with that word. Um, what's a crazy word? What's a crazy word? Crazy word, crazy word. Oh, um, that crazy dancing they do. Amazing crazy dance. Oh, DDR. Let's go with DDR, yes. The crazy DDR dancing they do. <laughs> Let's keep it light. But, uh, they were, the prison wardens, they made 500, like 470 to 570 euro a day. And prisoners didn't see any money because they're prisoners, so why would you pay the prisoners money to do stuff that they're being forced to do in prison and all that stuff? But, uh, that, that blows my mind. They were forced to farm gold. They, uh, say that this some of this, uh, stuff I found. Let's see. Let's see one of these facts. Okay, this is what their conditions were. If they didn't complete their work quota, they would beat this prisoner physically. They would make him stand his hands in the air and uh, beat him with plastic pipes, which is terrible. Wouldn't it be better to beat him with... No, no, they would not want to make him break his arms, because you need your arms to play this amazing game. But the thing that makes me the saddest about this, they weren't allowed to level... Level 1 gnomes running around in Twilight Highlands trying to farm the Pyrator and... I know this isn't working because all of you gamers know that that would never be possible because levels and all that stuff. But they were forced to gold farm. They were forced to go... They weren't allowed to level. I'm not sure what level they are at, but level 1 gnomes uh, trying to mine Pyrite or try to even get to Twilight the Highlands makes me laugh my ass off. But... Let's see. They were... They kept playing. They were forced to keep playing until they could barely see things. And then they would be taken off the line and they would stop gold farming. Which is kind of depressing. You're like forced to do it until you can't see. Then you stop. Then you wake up and you gotta do it again. Then you gotta do it again and again and again and again and again. For three years this man did this. It was freaking insane. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else. And they say like 80% of China, like the people who uh, actually play World of Warcraft are gold farmers. So that's one of the facts they found on this news story. The buyers of virtual goods have mixed feelings. Like, I, I wouldn't buy gold personally, but it's going to make things easier. It's going to make things easier for you if you want to just go buy gold. But it's forcing these people to go to far farm gold and all that kind of stuff. They got to farm for days on years. Like I said, three years this man prison. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy. And this is usual. This is all throughout China. Because there's been reported, like, m many reported stories of this happening. And crazy. Crazy, crazy things have been happening over in that part of the world. Crazy, crazy things. Crazy.